Christmas markets are one of the best things you can do at Christmas in Germany. There are over 30 Christmas markets in Munich. All of them have their very own charm. But for tourists, it can be a little overwhelming to make a selection. That's why I've made a selection for you. Here are over seven Christmas markets in Munich that you should have seen. Counting exactly where one Christmas mark begins and the other one ends is not that easy. That's why I just say 7+. plus. First of all, I have to say that Christmas markets are most beautiful at night and when it's cold. But I have day and night shots here. Let's go! Of course we start in the very center of the city at Marienplatz. Munich's Christmas market is one of the oldest in Germany. The Nikolai Market, hence St. Nicholas Marcus, was mentioned in documents as early as 1310. In 1806, the Nikolai Markt was renamed Christkindlmarkt, and since 1972, it has found its place on Marienplatz. It is the most traditional Christmas market that I will introduce here. 140 market stalls attract around 3 million visitors every year. That's why it's especially crowded at the weekends. I would like to highlight one market stall in particular, the stall of Boot Manufaktur Schmidt. Every year I buy cookies here that I can't get anywhere else, namely Printen, aniseed cookies. I can get them anywhere else, nor does anyone bake them for me. What I'm trying to say is that you can find just about every German Christmas cookie here. Of course there's also the traditional Glühwein, mute wine stands, Bratwurst stalls and craft stores where you can buy Christmas tree decorations. Right next to Marienplatz below St. Peter's Church you will find the Krippelmarkt. There you will find nativity scenes and the matching hand carved figures. This market also has a long tradition as it was mentioned as early as 1757. In principle the entire city center is one big Christmas market. If you walk along Neuhauter Straße to Karlsplatz, you come to the Münchner Eiszauber. Here you can skate against the historic backdrop of the Karlstor. And don't worry, if your own skates don't fit in the luggage, you can hire skates of any size here. But if you walk north from Marienplatz to Odeonsplatz and from there briefly westwards, you come to Wittelsbacher Platz, where the medieval Christmas market takes place. The stalls are all specially decorated and the market people wear historical costumes. There are always all sorts of things to see here, from Minnesang and acrobatics to fire breathers. Further links for the program as always in the description. There was nothing going on while I was there, but I treated myself with a hot meat in a goblet. For those who don't know, you always pay a deposit fund on the cups at the Christmas markets. You get your money back when you return the cup. If you like the cup, you can keep it. The deposit on my meat cup was 10 euro, but it's usually between 3 and 5 euro. If you walk south from Marienplatz, you come to Sendlinger Tor. Of course, there's also a Christmas market here. But I want to go to the Glockenbachviertel. This district, with its many bars and nightclubs, is the center of the LGBTQ community in Munich. That's why the Pink Christmas, the Scenes Christmas Market, is also located here. There is a very special atmosphere here, especially in the evening. And if you don't like Glühwein, you can fall back on Prosecco here. Even further south in the Schlachthof district, you will find the Moonshine Express, the Christmas market of Bahnwärter Thiel. Bahnwärter Thiel is a techno club, concert hall and alternative cultural center on the site of the former slaughterhouse. The site, which consists of shipping containers and decommissioned rail vehicles, is worth a visit even during the year. But at Christmas, there's a special Christmas feeling here. There's Glühwein here too, of course, 
but you won't hear much contemplative Christmas music. Instead, you'll hear harder beats from the turntables. <laughs> But there is also a stage for more handmade music. So this Christmas market is very alternative, almost punk. Shortly under the railroad bridge and 500 meters further on, you come to the Alte Utting. There is also a Christmas market here, however I was unable to film it as it opens on December 5th, but it runs until December 30th. So a tip for all those who are in Munich after Christmas. By the way, most Christmas markets end at latest on December 24th at noon. Not far to the east on the Theresienwiese, where the Oktoberfest takes place every year, is the Winter Tollwut. Winter Tollwut has become one of the most popular Christmas markets in Munich. It tries to reconcile environmental awareness, culture and global commitment. Here you will not only find the traditional Christmas dolls with Glühwein and sausages, here you can find international cuisine that you don't necessarily find at other Christmas markets. There are also stalls with handicrafts from all over the world. And if you get cold, you can go into one of the tents to warm up with live music. Also, Tollwood closes on December 23rd. It opens again on December 31st, for what is probably Munich's biggest New Year's Eve party. My good friend Dirk Wagner is also a DJ at this party every year. However, there's an entrance fee on December 31st. The Märchen Bazaar, Fairy Tale Bazaar is held in the Olympic Park, at the same location where the Summer Tollwood Festival takes place every year in summer. It is smaller than Tollwood, but has a similar character. It is still considered an insider tip for those who want to avoid the occasional overcrowded winter Tollwood and are looking for something quieter. Here too you will find delicacies from all over the world. And if you're more of a frostbite type, you can warm up in one of the tents. When I was filming, I happened to bump into my old colleague Sophia, who was performing here. She also has a YouTube channel and I'm happy to link it here for those who want to listen to her music in better sound quality. Our last stop is in the northern district of Schwabing, right at the exit of the Münchner Freiheit U-Bahn station. This is where you will find the Schwabing Artist Christmas Market. Over 80 exhibitors offer their art here. There is even a separate art tent. A gallery where you can buy works of art by Munich artists. If you are looking for unusual Christmas gifts, you are sure to find them here at the Schwabing Christmas Market. I hope this has given you an idea of what to expect at Christmas markets here in Munich. If I'm missing an important one, let me know in the comments. The good thing is that Christmas is every year, then I can correct my mistake next year. And if you ever want me to show you around Munich, here's my email address. See you then, or in the next video, Philip.